Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a little eyeshadow look with this guy. This is the number two palette from the Kaleidos Cosmetics, or Kaleidos Makeup, sorry, um, Futurism Collection. They came out with three palettes like this, and I've already done a look with the one that's called Astro Pink, and now I'm moving on to Futurism. Just because there's this intense red shade in the palette that I've been dying to play with, so if you wanna see how I created this look, just keep watching. You guys, I'm so excited about these palettes coming in the mail that I couldn't wait. So today I wanna to use this guy. This is the Futurism 2 Cyber Bronze palette, and I don't know, I just really want to try out all these palettes and make videos and be on top of things, you know, which is different from what I usually do because I am always usually behind, I feel like. So just really pumped about these palettes coming in the mail and yeah, it's just really, really cool. I feel really happy. Anyway, um, I have my face done. Just going in to do my eyes and I'm dipping into this mustard shade in this palette and I'm just gonna go straight into my crease and this is a fluffy brush this is a Wayne Goss number 17 um, and I really like using my Wayne Goss and Sonia G brushes I feel like it definitely kind of does make a difference in how my eyeshadow applies and so I really enjoy that and I'm just using this to kind of blend my crease. Just being messy and also using it kind of to set the concealer that is on my eyelid. I use the Fenty Beauty Concealer on my under eyes today. And my highlighter is the Milk Stick in Turnt. And my blush is ColourPop, and the bronzer I have on is the Cover FX bronzer in the new formula that they came out with. Those half matte, half shimmer ones. I am wearing the darker shade of the two, so I did purchase those from Ulta. Okay, now I'm going into the NYX brown shade. And I'm just going to stick that in the crease as well. I'm not going to go as high up to the brow bone. Um, and I'm gonna try and kind of concentrate it to the outer corner and then drag it in lightly. These palettes work so well. I think even if you're like a beginner, I can see you being like able to create really beautiful looks with these. And now I'm gonna just gonna go in to the next brown, same brush, I haven't switched brushes yet. Again, I'm just concentrating that on the outer corner and blending. I really like how my crease is looking in the viewfinder. And then I'm just gonna blend. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of the mustard shade and blend. Okay, I feel like all my crease work is done. Now I just need to pick a lid color and I have the, like a rose gold, a red, and a silver option. Okay, which shade? Um, I think I'm just gonna go in with a red. I know that's like the obvious choice, but I can't help myself <laughs> because it's beautiful and different. And for shadow on my lids, I like to use a flat shader brush. So I'm just gonna dip into the red and see how it applies without wetting it. So it's pretty sheer. Oh, I think these are actually pretty buildable. Like. Second time's the charm here. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna wet it a little bit just to amp it up. I've been trying to use up this Mario Badescu spray, the lavender. Ooh, the red really came to life when I wet it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so for the under eye, I have two red eyeliner pencils. I have the Linda Hallberry Anger Mood and this one called Outrage from LA Girl. 
Uh, let's try Linda Hallberg because I haven't used her eyeliners in a while. Sonia G Pencil Pro. I'm going into that mustard shade. And I'm just blending with both of these brushes. I think I'm actually going to grab this brush. This is the Wayne Goss number 19. And then with the Sonia one. Sonia G um, Pencil Pro. I'm just going into that rose gold shade and just applying that on the inner corner. And that's pretty much it. So I'm just gonna finish up with mascara and put a lip on and I will be right back. Okay, I did put mascara on and then I decided to show you guys the lippy of choice. Today, this is a new formula that I've never tried. It's the BH Cosmetics Cashmere Crim Comfort Lipstick in the shade Roast. If I could actually just get it out of here, that would be great. And it comes in this little tube. I don't really line my lips when I... It's so like hydrating feeling, so I like that. And I like this color, it's like, a really nude but it still has that hint of warm so I think it looks okay with my skin tone so that is it guys here is the finished look using the cyber bronze palette from Kaleidos cosmetics I am really enjoying these palettes this is the first time I've tried this one I already have a look up on my channel with this palette and the next one's gonna be this green one. So I'm excited to test them all out for you and bring you guys a review, but so far I'm really enjoying it. So if you've been on the fence about picking these up, I would totally recommend doing so. And that is everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys.